live, guys. We are live right now, okay? The time is now 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. BRC, LLC. If you want, we can talk tonight. We can talk tonight. Right after this video. Good evening. Sanjika, it's good to good to see you. I hope you're ready for a action-packed, uh, fun-filled night. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give you a list so that, yes, yes you did. I'm going to get to it and uh, we're going to get, get these questions answered, set up times to talk, see where you're at, okay? So we can meet you there. Hello, Roderick. Howdy. Good evening, Michael. Yes. Right after. Right after. We're going to be talking about getting approved for financing for your business. How many want to get approved? Man, doesn't it feel bad when you get rejected, but it feels so good when you get approved? Okay. And you don't even have to have any cash flow. No collateral, no good personal credit. You just got to build that credit profile and build that credit score, which you can do, all right, which you can do. Folks, we're going to get started right now. We're proud to offer you some of the best funding sources on this planet, dare I say, this side of the galaxy, all right? So if your business has has cash flow okay these are for the businesses that do have cash flow uh, and that do have collateral you can be approved even if you have challenged personal credit all right so you don't have to have all three C's for these types of credit all right depending on the types of collateral you have you can be approved for purchase order financing inventory financing account receivable funding, 401k financing, commercial real estate funding, securities based line of credit, equipment financing, private equity financing, business revenue lending, merchant cash advances. Now, if you have your business financials, all right, you can also be approved for SBA 7A loans, 504 loans, uh, lines of credit, high loan amount, private equity, okay? Folks, the bottom line is we offer you some of the best in lending sources. How we can do this, and let me explain to you, we don't go through banks. That, that's how we do it. We don't go through banks. Now, a lot of you know about my velocity banking method and how we utilize the bank's tools, okay, to help us succeed as well and for us to increase our cash flow. Somebody asked me just today, I believe it was five minutes ago, I read this message and the message was, CJ, do you think that they are changing the rules of finance and we're just now catching up? Listen, the rules of finance have not changed. It's just been in the hands of the wealthy because this is what their children learn. You see what I'm saying? Like, while we're going to college, uh, while we're, you know what I mean? While, while we're doing these uh, hard tasks out in the corporate plantation, this is what their children are learning. It's always been here. Cash flow has always been there. Learning how to do these businesses has all, that knowledge has always been there. How to run a business, okay? And not for the business to run you. They know the difference between a business operator and a business owner. That's another video. Listen, we're talking about get approved for financing for your business, all right? If you want to start a business or secure financing with no collateral or cash flow <laughs> requirements, okay? You can be approved for no document financing, no documents. And it requires no financials, business credit cards, and business lines of credit. That's how you'll do it, 
All right. Now, does anybody have any questions on that? I'm such a good explainer, right? My goodness. The explanations are awesome. So look, you can also be approved for niche financing for your business, even with average credit, okay? And that includes home reseller financing. We got commercial signage financing, equipment sale lease back, auto dealer floor plan financing, vehicle wrap financing, E2 and EB5 visa financing. This is awesome. Hey, Glow. You know what you missed? You missed me listing the things that you can actually qualify for if you don't have the good personal credit, but you do have cash flow and collateral within your business. Okay? Hey, don't worry about it. This video will be up and running in just a little bit uh, but I just wanted to let you all know all right that this is the type of financing that is available and just because the bank says no watch this guys just because the bank says no all right it does not mean that you aren't ever going to be approved for financing or that you can't get financing that day. When you can't go to the conventional and get approved, there's always another way. There's always an alternative. Now we provide education so that you can know that way. And let me let you in on a secret. Vendor credit is how you establish your vendor, your business credit, so that these companies that are allowing you to utilize their products for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days without paying them, okay? Uh, but at the end of the term, of course, you got to pay in full. These companies that are allowing you to do that, they are reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, Business Experian, Business Equifax. And when they do that, and they say, hey, this person paid early or this person paid on time. Okay. Now for you guys, this person paid early, right? Guess what? That means your score will be 100. And when lenders look at that, what happens? You get the high limit credit cards. You get the loan financing. Not in your name. Because remember, you're a natural person. Your business is a legal person, <clears throat> remember? So you're a natural person. Your business is a legal person. You want it in your legal person name, okay? in your business name. Your credit is in your, your business credit should be in your business credit name, all right? So when that happens, they look at that and they say, you know what, we don't have any problems lending to this individual. We don't have any problems lending to this business because I see their EIN, their credit score, and their credit profile, and it is stellar. Because all we care about is payment history, not credit utilization, not how old are the accounts, uh, not all of this stuff, debt to income ratio. Uh-uh. Am I going to get paid every month? If the answer is yes. And the yes is in the score. Did you know that? That's what the lenders go by. The yes is in the score. If it's an 80 to 100, it's a yes. And they want you, okay? They uh, are going to lend you the money. I know a lady, she even has a... Uh... Absolutely, because you're not going through us. Very good. I'm so glad you said that, Lottie. DMB is giving me a hard time. Folks, you're always going to have a hard to listen. DNB is a multi-million dollar, hundred million dollar company. Okay, okay, that's that's why they're giving you hard. To, they charge thousands and thousands of dollars for them to basically do nothing. The way to get business credit is so elusive, and it's a shame that 
most business owners don't know this. They don't even know that they can get business credit. They bootstrap their business. They go through uh, hardships in their life unneeded because they're still an operator in their business instead of an owner. And they have their mind on what's the next, um, let's say a restaurant owner. Uh, what's the next meal we're gonna cook? Where's the money gonna come from? I need to work at my car shop in order. I need to break my knuckles. Listen, that era is gone. Can I say that again? The era of busting your knuckles and having nothing at the end is gone. You're a business owner, okay? Not a business operator. So right now, of course you gotta operate. You gotta start from somewhere, all right? But the goal is for you to set up a system so that it, that business can run itself. So that that business doesn't really need you to run it. Okay, so that the cash flow, okay, is within the business and within your bank account. Is that okay? That's the goal. How are you going to do it? Business credit. May I be so bold as to say, as I listed all of the financing that you can get, even if your personal credit isn't great, isn't the greatest. Can, can I just ask you something? What is stopping you? What is stopping you from getting business credit? What's stopping you from getting the, yeah, oh yeah. What's stopping you from getting these high limit credit cards? I know the answer. What's stopping you is ignorance. Listen, I didn't know about this until I knew about it, all right? We didn't know about business credit, but now that we do, we have an opportunity to change for the better, right? We have an opportunity to have our business finally grow because of the capital, because of the credit. I talk to people all the time and the number one reason the number one challenge that they have in their business isn't lack of creativity, guys. It's not lack of imagination. It's not lack of passion. These people are passionate. They got families to feed, okay? They have this dream that they've been dreaming about, but they can't put it into reality. And the reason is because they are undercapitalized. They need business credit. They need business financing. And they don't know how to get it. It's taken, and on average, uh, these business owners three to five years to get business credit. That's a shame. We can help you get it in six to 12 months, okay? Six to 12 months. Look at all these types of financing that's available to you. Building your business credit profile. What you're going to do, step one, business credibility. You got to work on that. You got to work on your name. Okay, you got to work on your um, business address, your business phone number. All right, step two. Step two, get those business credit reports. Let's see if somebody has reported you already. And if it's a derogatory bark on the credit report, say you're at a 90 or say you're at an 80 paydex score. That's still not bad. Let's see what those derogatory remarks were. Okay, let's get that fixed. All right, step three. Step three, vendor credit. Vendor credit. Okay, you got to start from there. Just like we started uh, with secure cards, okay? Woo, man, I'm glad. That's a great question. OT, duh. You can't take out a business loan until your business has been running for two years, right? Guys, I'm going to make an announcement towards the end of this video, all right? I'm going to answer all those questions. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a surprise at the end of this video, all right? What's going on, Gary? It's good to see you. I'm writing it down because I don't want to forget this. This is <laughs> this is going to be good, all right? And I, I'm going to tell you it towards the end of the video. When, when you have business credit, when you have business credit, you can do more 
than you could ever do before. One, one of my friends was talking about how he put up his house. He put his house on the line because he really believed in his business. Well, 2008, 2008 hit, all right? And this is when people get shocked and they stop businesses, they stop, you know what I mean? He put his house on the line. He didn't have to do that, okay? He could have worked a strategy to have business credit at the time so that he didn't have to write a personal guarantee or sign a personal guarantee so that his house would be on the line if that business failed. Folks, that's not where you want to be. Personal credit, business credit. Let me do it like this, okay? Personal credit, business credit. Personal credit, business credit. It's supposed to be a part, all right? Make sure they're a part, guys. For legal issues, all right? For your taxes, it's just going to be much easier for you, all right? Absolutely. And don't worry, we'll actually go over all of that in our business credit webinar. Oh, yeah. We're having a business credit webinar, guys. I mean, this is, uh, it's too much. There's just too many questions that we have to answer for you, okay? It's just too much. So we are going to have a business credit webinar. How, how many of you like that? How many of you are coming to the business credit webinar? 20th, Thursday, 20th. I'm going to put it in my calendar. Thursday, the 20th, we are having a business credit webinar. 5 p.m. Awesome. Awesome, Glow. You are going to get educated. All right? Education. Let me tell you something. If you think education is expensive, if you think education is expensive, who knows the rest of that sentence? Guys, I'm so excited. Nope, it's going to be 5 p.m. PST. That's Pacific Standard Time. Listen, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Because you pay for what you don't know. All right? You sure do. You pay. There you go. That was it. You had it. Are you willing? And this is just a, a question here for you. I'm writing it down right now. We have the webinar, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This coming up Thursday, the 20th of September, 2018. Okay? 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We also have another time, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, so there's two webinars going on the same day. We're going to be teaching you going more in depth on the business credit side. All right? Don't worry. I will put the link in the details. Absolutely. Is reverse mortgage a bad idea to fund a business? I could go into why. A reverse mortgage is a bad idea to fund a business. Okay, I can go into detail on that. Yes, it is. It is a horrible idea to fund a business. Great question, Glow. Great question, and I'm glad you asked that. Please ask me more questions. You pay for what you don't know. You know? You really do. Great question. This lady uh, made a comment on my Facebook page. CJ Wallace LLC. She said, CJ, this is great advice. You just saved me thousands in interest. <sighs> thousands in interest. Thousands, guys. You know, when you hear things like that, you get a confirmation of why you're in this business. 
and you look back over your life, you remember the things that you didn't know, okay, and the opportunities that had to pass you by because you weren't ready for them, you didn't know a lot of things, and then, then it hits you, oh man, you know, I saved that person money, and I, 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 I helped that person to get a black car, and I helped that person to pay their home off, I helped that person to send their kid through college, you know, that I helped that person. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Now to my question. Would you, would you spend a thousand dollars today to get five thousand dollars tomorrow? Yes, Timothy, that's right. Would you spend a thousand dollars today to get five thousand dollars tomorrow? Would you spend, would you invest $4,000 today to get $50,000 tomorrow? Think about that. Because business owners have to make decisions like that. We can't do a business like some of us do our grocery shopping. Oh, that one's too expensive. You know, let's... Let's get the cheapest one. Let's get the great value brand or whatever that brand is. You know what I mean? Let's get the Equate. Let's get the Equate brand because that's less expensive. Okay? We can't necessarily do that as a business owner. Why? Because we have customers, right? We have clients who leave reviews. Okay? And so we need quality. So we got to invest, okay, in quality. And we got to look at the value of what we're getting and then assess, you know what, is this worth the money that I'm putting down? I don't have a, a problem investing any amount of capital, but is the investment going to be worth it? If you see someone give you a guarantee, like we guarantee you $50,000 in business lines of credit in six to 12 months, all right, we guarantee that to you. And in the first 30 days, if you are not satisfied, right, with this, if we haven't knocked your, blown your socks off with how we help people and help you get business credit, we don't even want your money. Refund. We're giving you a refund. Now, what if you heard no one has taken us up on that refund? No one. Folks, we have a 100% success rate simply because I've never had trouble getting people to take money. <laughs> Does anybody know why that is? I mean, I guess they need it, right? Fellow business owners, you are this way. You're someone who is a professional at what you do. You're an entrepreneur. You take the risk of going out there on a limb, of helping people, of providing a service for someone. You know what I mean? And that's what you do as a business owner. So, folks, I will definitely allow you, let you go ahead and have a great weekend, okay? Um, what we want to do on Monday, we're going to switch it up. Okay, it'll still be 7.30, the time frame, but we're going to switch it up and you'll see what I'm talking about. What can I do with my lazy 401k? I tell you what, you can do a lot of things with your lazy 401k, you know, as, as a matter of fact, you can put it into a line of credit. Absolutely. Because your 401k, I guarantee you, will not grow as much as your line of credit as you're continuing to utilize that line of credit. Huh? Advanced financial strategies. Can I get an amen? Someone said their credit score jumped to 710. You remember that? From 480 to 710. <laughs> Utilizing the advanced financial strategy we call velocity banking. Okay? Guys, I want to... I want to... You want to you wanna name it something else? Guys, be thinking up another name. For velocity banking can we make can we make it a cooler name or do you like velocity banking if you guys have a cooler name for that term I can change it okay absolutely I'll change it 
if it's cool enough, all right? Pay more into your line. That's right. That's right. Because the thing about a 401k, and I'll just go ahead and and I'll, I'll, I'll say this and then I'll go ahead and stop, guys. Okay, I want you to have a great weekend. I'll say this about your 401k. It wasn't made for the wealthy. That's why you don't see wealthy people have it. Okay, it was made for the middle class, right? So the 401k, you can put your money in there. I am not hating on you, all right? <laughs> but if you do your research, you'll see it's the biggest fraud, all right? But anyway, look. You put your money in the 401k, all right, and it grows a very little bit, but you utilize your line of credit and the credit card companies or the line of credit and the bank says, you know what, we're going to give you more money to lend. We're going to give you more money and more money. Will you get that on your 401k? Will you get that on your checking? Will you get that on your savings account? Hey, you've, you've done a great job of saving. You know what, here's an extra $10,000. They've never and will never do that. Ha! But you do that on your line of credit, and they'll give it to you. I know what I'm talking about there. Because I, too, am a victim of the line of credit increase. And you can be, too. All right? Guys, I'm putting that in the details the business credit webinar I'm putting the details right in there I'm giving the link to you right now okay so that's what I'll be doing right now you guys Monday 730 I got a surprise we're gonna have a surprise lesson here for you uh, it's gonna be good okay it's it's gonna be pretty lengthy so maybe bring a pen and some and a pad because uh, I want to give this to you and show you and I'll be also be answering questions at the end okay God bless you. Good night. Okay. It was great talking to you. And guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Email me. Creditwiz at investorpro.org. Can I get a line of credit without pulling out my 401k? Wow, that's a very good question. Can you get a line of credit without pulling out your 401k? Yes, you can. That's a very, very good question. Yeah, you can either get an unsecured line of credit, you can get a secured line of credit. Okay, yeah, you don't have to pull out your 401k. Absolutely. Listen, you can also get 401k financing. And that's another lesson. God bless you all. Have a good night.